I want you guys to see something. This is the April cover of Vogue magazine. This seems to be the newest trend, you know. Grab yourself a beta male for some mutual masturbation. Since this issue is from Portugal, I'm gonna assume they're first cousins. And look down here, it says freedom on hold. This is more 1984 double-think bullshit. It's not really freedom if you can take it away, now is it? That's like saying you're in a monogamous relationship, but every third Wednesday you dabble in a little bukkake with a stranger you picked up from Crocodile Rock. That's like saying you're 90% vegetarian. That's like saying you're a mother, but you're gonna take a little break from feeding your kid. Guess what? If you don't feed the little shit, he dies. And it's kind of the same thing with freedom. Is there anything worse than these people who think the sooner we give up all of our freedoms, the sooner we'll get them back? Yeah, tell that to Anne Frank, you uncultured swine. And the big news this week is the PCR test. I swear to God, it's like we're going through the exact same cycle we did in the first lockdown. Literally. We're back to talking about PCR cycle thresholds. And all of these idiotic career student science communities communicators are out there playing God and talking about how 40 cycles isn't too high for a PCR test. Well, that's interesting because the inventor himself said it was, but I guess you know better, right? Telling you that you should lose the right to feed your kids because you might just have trace amounts of a virus in your body and even though you're probably not infectious, it's very important that you don't take that risk. As if the 0.01% chance you'll catch the sniffles somehow trumps the 100% chance you won't be able to pay your rent without a job. And have you noticed there's no such thing as healthy anymore? You're either asymptomatic, pre-symptomatic, symptomatic, or post-symptomatic. You know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see people come down with symptoms of common sense. This is getting absolutely ridiculous. The other day I actually heard someone say that if you don't follow the COVID measures, you're racist. That's right, the virus discriminates now. Let me ask people of color something. Are you getting tired of listening to rich white kids talk about how disadvantaged you are. It's like these people have never watched Deliverance. I don't know about you, but this shit drives me crazy. Being called disadvantaged by the grown-up version of the kid that would have been sitting in the corner eating their own boogers and bringing 25 extra fruit roll-ups to class in a desperate bid to buy friendship. It's like we're in some kind of twisted Revenge of the Nerds Black Mirror episode. We give these so-called experts way too much credit. You want to know when I found out that these experts don't know shit? It was when I learned how hospice care works. You know, hospices where old people go to die. I used to think doctors were so omniscient they had some kind of doctor spidey sense that told them when a person was approaching death. Like their heartbeat changed or they developed some kind of death rattle so they sent them off to the hospice to die in peace. Yeah, I was wrong. You want to know what really happens in a hospice? They starve and dehydrate the elderly to death. They literally just stop feeding them until they die. These people don't have any idea how life works. They can talk all day about their models and graphs, but when you tell them people are offing themselves in record numbers, their solution is to get some counseling. People don't need counseling. They need jobs. Here's a statistic for you scientists. Did you know that every 1% unemployment increases? 37,000 people die? Well, the unemployment rate in the US is estimated to be about 15%, so I'll let you do the math on that. Then go ahead and make yourself a cute little graph and send it to Bell Let's Talk. I'm sure talking it out will really help reduce the pile of bills sitting on your floor where your kitchen table used to be because you had to sell it on Kijiji to buy a 24 pack of Mr. Noodles. And none of these people want to talk about how obvious it is that the government is intentionally eliminating small businesses in order to take over all means of production. Seems pretty racist to me considering there are way more disadvantaged people in Walmart than any hair salon. But like I said, there's a lot of asymptomatic cases of intelligence going around out there. And then there's this vaccine. Suddenly, all the experts agree that it only takes eight months to develop a vaccine. Why is that? Well, you know, because they're experts and they know stuff. But still not a peep about the connection between vaccines and autism. Still no mention of the fact that when you inject aluminum into your muscle, it crosses the blood-brain barrier and deposits in your brain where it stays indefinitely. Instead, they just repeat their vaccines are safe and effective chant like the little demonic cultists they are. Bill Gates must be very proud of his little idiotic minions. Doctors are now encouraging the CDC to warn patients that the side effects of this vaccine will be no walk in the park. Yeah, that's right, they're prepping us for the inevitable. Encouraging them to use more soft language by steering clear of the words adverse reaction and instead using the word response. Yeah, let them know when that third eye starts protruding from the middle of their forehead that that just means it's working. 